<clears throat> what the? What's up, guys? Remember me? Probably not. It's Mr. Phantasmo. Uh... I'm coming at you a lot. Uh, not from a Call of Duty game, but from my laptop webcam screen. Why is your webcam screen so... It's not a very good... It's not even a very good screen. It's not a good camera. The microphone's not that great. Look, I understand. I understand this, but we are no longer sponsored by Call of Duty. They called me up and they said, you haven't been playing our game for many years now and um, we just don't feel comfortable with you talking behind it and you know what no hard feelings whatsoever call of duty game people who contacted me about this fictitious issue but what i can say that is that as a result of this um there probably won't be any call of duty call of duty on i won't be able to talk over any any Call of Duty footage. Call of Duty, yeah! So for now, um, we're in a bit of an unsponsored boat, and that means that you just get my my webcam for now, until we, you know, until we come up with, like, another sponsor or something. Maybe this light, uh, maybe that light will sponsor us. I don't know. I haven't asked the light yet, so there still needs to be emails and, you know, paperwork that needs to that needs to happen. Also, you notice the, uh, this, this was once a window, actually. Do you remember me telling you about a basement that I had been hanging out in for a little bit? Yeah. Uh, this is, this is it. And this is how I, because I'm not only allergic to people, I'm also allergic to, um, sun for most, most, most parts of the day. And for really most of my life, I have been allergic to sun in a lot of ways, but, uh, you know, it's it's good to, it's good for you. It's definitely good for you. I, in, in, in fact, actually, I think that we could just pull this out and uh, oh, yep, nope. Actually, we can we can just we can just we can just leave that just the way it is. I think there's a, a spider family. I didn't even know that they that they existed together, but I think that there are multiple spiders living in between those pillows that I specifically put there to block the sun and the window that has the sun. I was gonna, I was gonna pull the pillow out and be like, oh, this video sponsored by Sunlight. And then we were gonna go outside. That, that was gonna be like the transition to, to go outside. You know what, let's just, let's just go outside, come on. All right, here we are, outside, like I promised. Outside-ish. Seems to be some birds chirping over this way. I say outside-ish because we haven't fully stepped into the sun. Oh my God, meet our sponsor, it's the sun. I don't really, hold on, let me, I have to check the microphone is, yes. Gotta remember to turn the microphone on this. I also hope the picture's okay. Kind of testing things out, you know? That's how I, that's how I like to live my life, constantly, Somewhat testing things out. See the uh, see the the mulch pile here. This was a much bigger mulch pile not too long ago. It actually came out all the way to probably about here, and I was actually re mostly responsible for moving it all around to various uh, various you know like flower beds and stuff. I'm gonna go explore in the barn a bit. I never really did understand uh, mulch and all that stuff, right? I guess I never really understood yard work uh, for the most part, but it's actually kind of dark in the barn. Maybe we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't go in the barn. We'll leave the barn door open though, so we can make funny jokes about that. Let's go over by where these birds were. But we spent so much time uh, raking all the leaves and all that stuff away, which I feel like is what mulch is. So we basically get rid of the natural mulch and uh, 
apply more mulch and do more work to put it back down. Get some marker. What's up, horses? Wild horses! Not super wild, but about as wild as me. About as wild as me right now. All right, you guys. I, uh, oh, it's kind of muddy back here. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do out here. I haven't asked our sponsor. The sponsor just kind of glares at us menacingly from above. Uh, maybe we can, you know what? Hold on one second. This is what I did pretty much all day the other day. Oh, and also, I actually loved it. It was really fun. I don't know why I'm doing it right now, but we're just gonna shovel some mulch and see where we wanna take it. got the mulch in here and uh, as I was shoveling this mulch desperately thinking of something to do with it because if you just uh, pitchfork a bunch of mulch into a wheelbarrow and then leave it that's probably in bad form so I think what we're gonna do is try and find a place to to put this mulch and maybe help uh, Help out a plant grow. Isn't that what mulch does? Come with me as we explore together. You guys wanted more lawn mowing videos. I guess you get this. Ah! All right. Camera's not fully stable. That's to be expected when you don't know what you're doing. Let me just put this down in here. More. I have no clue if this is going to work at all, but here we go. Oh jeez. If you're wondering why I'm holding this in such a precarious way, it's because I have not much certainty in what I'm doing right now, but it's really just more about trying, trying it out than it is about ever fully figuring it out. Let's try that. Hey, there we go. A bit more sturdy. We're going some grass now. Whoa. So far so good. Hey, I'm Tim. This is my lawn care video. This is my application for local landscaping. Probably pretty bouncy with the audio right now. Not sure how I'm gonna fix that in future wheelbarrow videos, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's best if we just hop on the main road here. Maybe we'll find a good spot for this mulch quicker. We've got some water. All right, made it through the water. On the road. This should be better. Another thing, maybe not necessarily about mulch, but about wheelbarrows and specifically. Uh, oh, here comes a guy. <laughs> Actually, that was a lady. Anyways, the point I was going to make about wheelbarrows they only have one wheel. Um, so you would think that maybe if you only have one of something and it's also where all of the weight on the most important parts of the wheelbarrowing get distributed on, you would think that maybe you would pay attention to 
how well the tire was inflated, but in fact, most wheelbarrows just have flat front tires. Hey there. I think if someone were to approach me and ask me what specifically I was doing, I would probably say training for some sort of Olympic event. Seems about right. I think we're doing good. I pretty much forced myself into finding something to put this mulch around at this point. So much dedication. Paid for all of it to go to waste. Stuck in here. The trick is to just be very careful and also to be extra careful. Oh, and it would also help if you knew where you were going. Um, but we kind of do, generally, right? Trying to uh, go to a place where this tripod doesn't fall down every 10 seconds, and also where we can use whatever mulch doesn't just permanently get ingrained into the camera. It's okay. The sacrifice I'm willing to make, just like when we go to a beach. Um, if you guys haven't seen any of those videos recently, you might want to check them out. But um, when you go to a beach and you have a camera, with any sort of a lens, uh, any sort of a camera really, even if it's your phone, uh, you're willingly offering up that device to the sand gods because they will just come in and and just get get it in all the nooks and crannies. I have sand in this camera that I've had in there since my Italy vlogs, if that tells you anything. So, um, they tend to stick around a bit, but I digress. We'll continue to carry on here. Maybe find a trail of some sort or a tree rather. There's lots of trees around. I might look like a hunchback right now. That's because I am kind of. But it's only because, actually I think we should go this way. The grass is a little taller here, but still. It's only because, oh. All right, you guys. I think I found it. Boom. Right there. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? I think we can I think we can make this this tree look really nice and kind of brighten up its day. So I think that's what we might do. Count how many mosquitoes I kill. Here's one. First mosquito. Oh, look at that. Here's another one. It's got blood on it. Ooh. Alright, so I'm gonna try not to die. And uh and mulch this tree. So let's see how it goes. Well, time to see the finished product. Here we are. All you uh, expert landscapers out there, be sure and, uh, you know, just kinda, I mean, read them and weep, really. I can't see a possible better job being done. Look, go around to the back and uh, it's definitely there too, so. Full thorough job. Job well done. Felt good. Got a little sweat going on. But uh, maybe we can sit down for a second. We can actually have a 
have a bit of a discussion since I always like to do that with you guys. All right. Come on. Mic on. Good. Okay, cool. Just got to make sure that I do that because I'm not super used to doing this yet. But uh, here is it. Hey, hey, there you go. That was a. There's another video, uh, Extreme Lawn Care video number two. Next next video we'll be doing fertilizing and also topsoil. Got top, bottom, middle, upper, middle, um, whole hierarchy of soils. But we're gonna go over all the next episode. <laughs> Probably not though. I, I had no clue that, I had no clue what was gonna happen when we went outside, but um, I thought we were just gonna kind of walk around a bit maybe check out the van we just got it back we have solar power now it's gonna be great it's kind of why I'm practicing this a little bit I think is for the impromptu um, documentation of the day if you will because um, I don't really know what's gonna happen once we hit the road um, so that's kind of why I like to just fly by the seat of my pants naturally as you can see, it's a lifestyle that suits me, so hence why we got a van and we're and we're traveling around the world in it. <laughs> so what's the point? What's the point of this video really? Especially if you're listening this long into the video, you're probably looking for some sort of a meaning behind what you just watched and well maybe you're not because you're probably familiar with my channel by now and I mean there is there is meaning in what I do. <laughs> At least to me there is. Um, I don't think anybody would would think that what I do or or say is ultimately does ultimately has any meaning unless you uh, you know, especially if you take it literally. Uh, you got to do some sifting, but that's only because I'm not quite sure uh, what I'm even saying half the time. But really, I guess what I'm saying is just just go out there and don't be afraid to do things regardless of, of um, how they'll be accepted or not accepted or seen by anybody or anything else because um, that's not really what matters and also I guess to to understand that that in going out and just and and, and doing things once you do them it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good to go out and do something unique, something that, uh, and not unique just to be unique, but something that you just went out and did because, I mean, I've never, I've never done this before at all, but um, I did it. It seemed, it was a thought that came into my head and instead of just tossing it to the side to go, I don't know, go back inside and record another commentary over a Call of Duty gameplay, I decided to come out here and do this because for me, um, that's kind of how I've, come to find meaning in my life and it's not and it's not in the fact that I can make this whole video and upload it to YouTube and and you guys can see it that's not where the meaning comes for me I guess what I'm trying to say is the real meaning comes in the pursuit of the goal not the not the actual goal itself there's no tangibility to to anything there's just these expectations that we that we put on the goal um, whether it's in the future or already in the past and we're trying to still extract this sort of um, meaning from it we tend to get lost in the things and and realize that and 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 forget to realize rather that there's something other than um the actual end result and and that is the whole process behind it and and the whole process behind it is doing what feels good and paying attention to it and fully committing yourself to whatever you're doing and then you can turn stuff like this into into something that means something regardless of if you you're even uh, you don't even have to try to to make it meaningful you just have to pay attention and, and the meaning comes from that and I mean maybe it doesn't maybe you think this is just a dumb video which if so you're gonna think that a lot of my videos in the future are gonna be really dumb but um, this is I mean you know am I wrong if I'm wrong let me know. Let me know what you think, and and uh, but really give some thought to what I said. So, moral of the story for today is, uh, you know, do something that that means something to you, uh, that makes you feel alive, because that's what life's all about. And, and, and do something that's meaningful to you, not not meaningful to the you that wants to be socially accepted or 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 wants 
thinks that they want some sort of external thing for happiness. Do it, do it for the you that knows that all you need is, is what you have right now and just to pay attention to that. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I think that's pretty good. No mosquitoes were biting me while I was talking, surprisingly, so that's great. Anyways, you guys, I've already rambled on way too long for this video, but this could be how I look at you in the future. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace, Nuggets.